Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be looking at the letter H, and then we are going to review all the letters we have learned this week. So the first thing that I want you to do is write your name at the top of your paper. And then we are going to look at the letter H. The H makes the H sound. So you have a capital H and a lowercase or little h. House starts with the letter H. So we are going to color in our picture of our capital H that is shaped like a house. and you can color your picture any color you want to. And if you need to pause your video to go get your papers or to go get your crayons, you can go ahead and do that now. All right, now we are going to practice writing our capital H. So this is a capital H. Remember, we follow our number numbers. So we're going to start at one and go from top to bottom. Then we're going to come over here and start at two and go from top to bottom. And then we come to three and just put a line through the middle. So practice all of your H's, your capital H's. Now we're going to color our lowercase h and practice writing a lowercase h. So this one is a lowercase h, so we write this one by starting at the top and going to the bottom, and then we do a loop around the middle like that. And that is your lowercase h. 
Then for our next page, we're gonna, you are going to find the H words and you're gonna color in the H words. First, let's practice writing our letters. There's our capital H and there's our lowercase h. Now let's look at these words and see which one <coughs> have begin with an H. This one is a hippo. Hippo begins with the letter H. So you could pause your video and you can color in your hippo. This one is a paper clip. Paper begins with a P and clip begins with a C. So that is not one that we would color in. This one is a helicopter. Helicopter begins with the letter H. So you can pause your video to color this one in. This one is a gift. A gift begins with a G, so we would not color that one in. This picture is a horse. Horse begins with a H, so you can pause your video to color that one in. This picture is a hand. Hand begins with a H, so you can pause your video to color this one in. This is called a harp. Harp begins with an H, so you can pause your video to color this picture. This is a picture of a squirrel. A squirrel begins with an S, so you would not color this one in. This is a picture of a house. House begins with H, so you can pause your video to color this picture in. This is a clock. Clock begins with a C, so you would not color this one. And this is a hamburger. Hamburger begins with an H, so you can pause your video to color this picture. When you have finished coloring all your H words, you can go to your next page. The first thing you're going to do is trace your H, your capital H, and your lowercase h. And then you will find all your H's. So let's look for our H's. Here's our first H. You can color in your H's. Here is our second H. And our third H. Our fourth and fifth H. And there is another H. So we have H, this one is an N, an E, our capital H, an X, P, another capital H, Q, U, a lowercase h, T, T, M, another lowercase h, a capital H, R, and C. Now you can color in your pictures that all begin with the letter H. We have horse, heart, hat, and house. Then you can rainbow your H, your capital H and your lowercase h. Then find all your, count all your H's that you see here. So we can circle them. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two H's. So we can write the number two. And then you're going to trace your H's, your capital and lowercase H's, and then you practice writing them across the line. Then for your next sheet, I want for you to practice writing all of the letters that you have learned this week. First, you're going to put your name at the top. And then you're going to practice writing your capital E three times, your capital F, your capital G, and your capital H. And then you're going to practice writing your lowercase e three times, your lowercase f, your lowercase g, and your lowercase h. And remember, you will turn all these sheets in your brown envelope next Friday.